Okay, so um, a bit more of an unusual video today. Um, I've had the same PC um, desktop for a few years now, and uh, I'll put the, the specs in the comments below. I can't remember what they are. It's an old i5. Uh, it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it's been my workhorse for um, most of my uh, music stuff, but I have noticed it's struggling a little bit recently, and I've been thinking about what I can do to um, to change it. Someone or a few people have been mentioning the Apple M1 and I had the opportunity to pick one up uh, one of the early ones which is a, um, a Mac Mini, beg your pardon, my brain's going um, with 8 gigabytes of RAM um, I was looking for 16 but this was too good an offer to, to uh, miss so um, I thought what I'd do is I'd set it up and see how it got on against um, my existing setup to see whether it's uh, ready to whether I'm ready to make the move to do it or not so what I've done is I've got um, the latest FL Studio betas installed on both the PC and the uh, Mac Mini um, and I'm going to run uh, a demo song on each and have a look at what FL Studio makes of the performance um, using its own metering so not a particularly scientific test, but should give us a clue as to where we are. Um, now the fact that the PC's got 16 gigabytes should work in its favour, um, and the M1 to me is a bit of an unknown quantity, so um, let's see how we get on. Now I'll, I'll try and switch you over and hopefully it'll carry on recording. Um, you can see that's the Mac screen there. The FL Studio Beta is, um, is a full universal app now. Um, and for what I'm doing now, it doesn't need Rosetta for any of the add-ins, which is good. So it's, uh, mine saying is that's Apple Silicon now. And the um, spec, as I say, is the M1 8 gigabytes. The PC over here uh, is an Intel Core i5 7400. It's a few years old now. As I say, I'll, I'll see if I can put the, um, the date down in the description, just in case you're interested. But... I'm probably getting to the stage where I'm thinking of replacing this anyway. Um, I may have to put you down a few times. Let's see how we get on. I've got FL Studio sitting down here on the PC and the same over here on the Mac. Let's switch my mouse and what I'm going to do is start them off at the same time, um, which I probably will have to put you down for. And then we'll just watch the, um, the performance monitor and uh, see how we get on. So, uh, excuse me for a minute. Oh, that's a false start. Let's start again. Okay. Okay, that was exciting, wasn't it? You're sitting on my knee there for a bit. Um, so we're now looking at the, the Mac here, which is giving, it's telling me 24 there, which is the, probably the easiest thing to look at. And meanwhile, the PC flipped from 18 to 19 as I span round. Um, 17 there for that period, up on 25 here on the Mac. So. Mac is having to do more work. Um, I don't know whether that's totally just down to um, the 8 gigabytes instead of 16 gigabytes. I'm sure that has an effect. Um, but I did this, I ran this test earlier on, and, and my conclusion is probably I probably need to get the 16 gigabyte um, Mac Mini to, or possibly wait for the M1X before it's really going to be worth my while because at the moment. Um, the older PC is looks like it's performing better. To, um, there's not a scientific test. Now we're going a bit faster now, so we're up to 31 there. 32. Oh, interesting. Now they're at parity. They're both saying 32. Um, I'm watching them both. Both still around 32 now. 
think I'll just unplug the headphones with my foot, by the way. That's why the sound disappeared too. Um, I'm not going to do this for too much longer because I, I'm conscious it's a bit boring. But I'll just wait until... Tell you what I will do is let's have it follow along. So we can see, I'll do the same on the Mac. Uh, oh, I've already got that sitting on the Mac. So we can see if something exciting, something's about to happen here at the end. I think it's probably going to die down a bit. So 33 on both, 33 over here as well. And we've died down a little. We've lost the what, Cereba? Cereba, I don't know how you pronounce that. That's presumably an instrument there, that's, or a drum that's playing. Um, pretty much a parity. It looks like at the moment the Mac is working a little harder. As I bring it round, to be honest, it's changing anyway. At the moment they're both 32, 31, so I think we're probably back in that verse we were in early on. So change coming up here. So that's interesting. So when it started, PC's on 30, Max on 33, 34, down to 31, down to 26. So the PC's working a little bit, having to work a little less hard, um, but not significantly, um, which is interesting. Um, so I'll switch it back to me. Oh, that's my hand as well. Um, so I think my conclusion is, as I, as I suggested earlier on, um, the Mac Mini, yes, it seems to be doing the job and I've had very few issues with compatibility, which is great. The installation of FL Studio, FL Studio went well and um, I have also tried a few of my standard effects. I've put on um, Xenology from Roland. Uh, I tried the uh, SSL UF8 and uh, UC1. They both work fine on both. Um, but predominantly what I wanted to see is should I turn off my PC and switch to the M1 right now? I had the chance, as I say, this is a second hand M1. Um, and I got it for just over 400 quid, so it was quite a good deal. But I think I'm probably going to move on. I'll probably stick with what I've got for another year or so, perhaps, and then look at the market again. Um, anyway, thanks very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, but I, I can't open this up to a general Mac versus PC debate. I'm not really interested in that. Um, what I'm really interested in is... Um, which is the best value for money for me right at the moment with what I'm doing. Okay, thank you very much.